who is there for every single important thing we do, and I'm not sure how we do it without her. We're in the middle of yet another Kamala rescue mission. Two months after the last effort failed, the White House is once again leaning on its media allies to pump her up ahead of 2024. Now, the latest piece is framing her as a fighter. I guess for killing babies? What? The Roe decision saw Harris become the Biden administration's foremost voice on reproductive rights. It was that intense level of passion that finally gave Harris something that she'd been searching for, a clear and unambiguous mission on which she could lead. So are all these Kamala resurrection efforts helping? Well, apparently not, because a brand new NBC News poll is revealing that her net negative rating of minus 17, that's right near where Putin is, Andre, uh, the lowest for any vice president in the poll's history. Joining me now, Ned Ryan, American Majority CEO. Ned, what is this? So her big mission was the border, right? She was going to take care of the right. border. Now her mission is what? You know, make sure we have more abortions in the United States because that's the permanent platform of the Democrat Party. Yay. Yeah, she just keeps going about border AI. Now abortions are. Uh, I thought the funniest thing about that poll, uh, Laura, was the fact that she was beaten by Darth Vader, a.k.a. Dick Cheney, by 40 points on the net favorability <laughs> rating. And if you're if you're getting crushed by Darth Vader, you might have a likability problem just throwing that out. But but think about it. Kamala was not chosen because she was bright and likable. I mean, I, I think the Democratic voters in the primary 2020 primary made that very clear. She didn't even make it to Iowa. But she was chosen because she checked a few boxes. First, she, she, they had to choose somebody to be Biden's VP who would never outshine him intellectually. And, and she has demonstrated her great capabilities at doing that. She's an overachiever on that front. And she also checks the politically correct box of being a black woman. Um, so if you think about that, as, of those as being her qualifications uh, to be Biden's VP, she, she has really hit it out of the park on all fronts, gold stars all around. I think the real question on this Laura, what if Biden doesn't run? I think he still is. I think Joe Biden's going to be dragging and propping up that empty husk as long as she can. But if he doesn't run, I think Kamala's a bridge too far even for Democrats. But then what do you do? You can't push aside a black woman for a white guy, say Gavin Newsom. I think you have to replace a black woman with a black woman. So Michelle Obama? I don't know. Maybe. Mm, I I think, Michelle, I mean, they, the, uh, an election, last election or the white election before it was Oprah's going to run, right? It's always like Oprah or Michelle right. Obama. I just don't think any of that is going to happen. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see it. By the way, Ned, Biden, his approval rating is really low as well, but they're trying to spin it. Watch. Yeah. He had a truly historic rate of success when it comes to major economic programs that are building the foundation and the infrastructure for America to lead the world, not just in innovation, but in manufacturing, in the number of jobs we've created, in exports again. People are starting to feel that now. Uh, Ned, he just vetoed the tariffs on solar panels. What? <laughs> He's for manufacturing? This is epic gaslighting. I mean, what are we talking about? Historic rates of inflation, unemployment, uh, violent crime, illegal immigration. You know, I even saw something today, Laura, in which there are many Americans who might be hitting a retirement crisis because of, of this situation the Biden administration has put us in and that they're now afraid they might run out of money in their retirement funds. I mean, this is if you want to talk about historic yeah. uh, numbers, this is Bi Biden's historic numbers are terrible on a whole host of fronts. And I don't see his favor favorability ratings rising, which all leads me to think unless Republicans figure out how to actually collect more ballots, I think Biden still has a chance of winning, though, in 2024, if he is the nominee. Well, I don't know. Trump's speech over the weekend about jobs and the economy and EVs. I mean, we should all be talking about the economy 24-7. Ned, thank you. Great I to think see so, you. too. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.